Long before the sun climbs high in the panhandle sky, Skeeter Huffaker's kitchen is awake with activity and warmed by an oven full of pies. I actually started baking when I was 12. My mom taught me how to make pies. She told me these are good, so I kept doing it. I started making those things in smaller versions and selling them at convenience stores. And before long, I just couldn't make enough. People just bought them and I, I just couldn't keep up. They're called Biddy Pies and what started as simple home cooking has turned into a baking business that reaches out to four states. Now you might think the name comes from the description of these little Biddy Pies, but when it came time to brand these petite treats, the answer was already part of the family. I have three daughters, and the youngest one we called Biddy, and we still call her Biddy to this day. I make them small because they're better for convenience stores that way. You can just pick them up. Everybody can have their own flavor. They're, they're perfect, plus they're cute. Cute doesn't always mean tasty, but this time small is good and bigger isn't better. My personal favorite has to be the coconut cream. Or is it the chocolate meringue? No, definitely the coconut cream. Well... Hey, Bob, would you like to try to a perfectly chocolate cake? Cake? Yes, that's right. If pie is not your pleasure, Biddy Pies also bakes Biddy Cakes. The flavors that we have are the old-time favorites. We have four pies, which are coconut cream, chocolate meringue, buttermilk, and pecan. And the cakes are German chocolate, Italian cream, carrot, perfectly chocolate, and red velvet. Every Monday, we have lemon meringue pie day. They're all good. They're love at first bite. It sometimes takes old-fashioned techniques to produce old-fashioned results. And even though conveniences of the modern kitchen have made large quantity quotas easier to reach, the same family traditions and work ethics are baked in every bite. We make everything from scratch. We make the crust, we make the fillings, the meringues, the icings, the cakes, everything's from scratch. I wish more people would do it. It's, it's really a good way to share good family time. Skeeter's son Aaron is the company delivery man who chugs around from store to store in a second-hand army vehicle carrying enough pie to fill a mess hall. The Huffakers call it Frick, and its thunderous engine is the soothing sound of success. I think right now my favorite part is shipping them away because when we first started, we would put them on styrofoam plates and wrap saran wrap over them and stick a little bitty sticker on them and that wasn't too appealing, but now we look more professional. When we first came to Amarillo, not many people knew what a bitty pie was. Now you, it's hard to find someone that doesn't know what it is, so that's kind of my favorite part. Good things come in small packages, and there's a lot of goodness in the pint-sized pies. Skeeter Huffaker has shared baking with her family for years, and now she's sharing it with the rest of us. And the fact that folks are eating up her work is just the icing on the cake. These are as good as grandma's, or these taste just like my mom's. Those are the best compliments you can get right there. You kind of get to preserve the art of baking. Very few people bake from scratch anymore. It's important to me. If you enjoy what you're doing, then you never have to work a day in your life.